Hey everyone, Jesse here with Farming Seattle. Wanted to do one more video update of kind of how the aquaponics is working in my head. We have expanded the uh, offerings, they say. I have that flood and drain bed, that flood and drain bed. This is just a wicking bed that I stuck up here. Um, I'll water it, make sure it's water pretty good, but this is just lettuce, lettuce. I think I have some tomatoes in there that I need to do something with. So, so far it's working pretty good. Down here, since I took away the raft bed from up above, I placed it down here, but I can't have it going every which way. Um, I don't want it going underneath. So I use these clamps and they're kind of loose and everything. So there's some slack because the water's going up and down, up and down. So these are just clamped, it's loose, so it can kind of travel back and forth. And it's just insulation underneath and there's holes. We've got some random plants in here. This is Kang Kong, it's like a water spinach. I have mint growing, um, a lot of mint growing. I think this is lemon balm or something. Tomatoes, or not tomatoes, strawberries. So far, so good. And these just sit in the water all day long. Um, you can kind of see the roots on this. I was expecting some items to die, but they're actually doing pretty good. The goldfish might eat the plant roots, um, but overall I just wanted a lot of, I wanted to cover this water in the front so that algae wouldn't grow as much and also try and get some filtration, some plants to uh, eat up the nutrients that are in the water. Um, up top, finalize the, this used to be the um, floating raft bed. I still have a floating raft bed. It'll go up and down. Um, the water level is only a couple inches. This is just mint. I wanted to once again, just make some more filtration up here. Um, lava rock's expensive when you buy it by the bag. I would recommend buying it by the uh, the half yard or yard. Um, so I only had a limited amount of lava rock. I separated in the middle with these perlite plant pots. And these are filled up to the water line with lava rock so that the bottoms kind of fills up and then, you know, six inches or so is just perlite and I've used these for a year or two to propagate um, some thornless blackberry and it worked really really well and so I'm trying to bunch more this year so this water level will raise to the overflow and then I'll drain everything that way we get plenty more mint growing and I'm also going to do more cuttings on this end and it's just connected with this uh, pipe. There's a valve on each side that regulates the amount of water in there. This is my normal flood and drain bed. I do a lot of plant propagation in here. I have hydrangeas growing. These are gonna be some flowers soon. And some elderberry, but just about everything. So thanks for watching and I'll do some more videos later.